Greatness. Greatness is, is this thing on? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, I think it's on yet. <laughs> Welcome to the QPP. Quality is job number one or whatever. Um, I'm going to attempt to do something I haven't done in a while. I have a couple of goodie boxes here waiting. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I've been... Well, as most of you know, and most of you don't know, I jacked up my back last weekend moving around concrete planters that I had no business moving. And um, so I consequently jacked up my back. So I've kind of been... Uh, I ruined last three day last weekend, which is a three day weekend, and then this weekend I've I've pretty much just convalescing. So I've been doing some wheel swaps. I swapped this little unit here. Uh, you can see it on well, I haven't posted it yet on Instagram, but I'm gonna throw it on Instagram <coughs> before and after. So there it is. And I've kind of uh, come up with a new program uh, to mount these wheels on some of these metal bases. You need those little tangs, you know, the little tangs to hold the wheels in place, but you got to cut them or grind them off to get the old wheels off. So I've actually uh, used my screws and screwed them down. I was epoxying them then. Epoxying, epoxying them then. Uh, but now I decided to use these screws and it works better. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to do a wheel swap here for you. Walk you through a wheel swap. I haven't done one of those in a while. So uh, let's get started. See the ugly wheels on that? The stupid death blade. I call them death blades. It's ugly. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Um, <laughs> this, I'm, I'm ready as usual. Always ready. Everything's everything's on my bench. My bench is a mess. It's a little wax. You can't see what I'm doing, but anyway, here it is. You guys have you know how to take them apart now, right? So that was a number 50. This is 7.30 seconds. Take the... There you go. It's a metal base, so you don't have to worry about mucking up the, the chassis. Oh, well, okay. Well, this one uh, doesn't have those... The wheels just fall off. So this will be cake. Uh, I don't like all this mess right here. I don't know if you can see this or not. See the little tabs? So I'm going to take my Dremel with one of those little cutter bits and I'm going to grind those little tabs off. Stand, stand by. Alright, let me get the bigger, uh, the bigger cutter. I don't know what number that is, but I need, I need a bigger one. Oh, that was messed up. That was messed up. And I think that'll work, I think. The cutter. Boy. Here we go. and noisy for you for you um i like using the those geared wheels the matchbox geared wheels they just look pretty nice pretty nice and i happen to have a whole bucket of them here so there's chrome ones there's brushed aluminum ones like there's black ones with little trim rings and so you just figure out uh and so when you remove the little tabs it allows the wheels to sit in farther because when you notice the wheels are like sticking out and it looks ridiculous so it's fit perfect. We we'll use the brush to the brush ones. There you go. So we got our wheels selected. So we'll take our uh, some of you guys. Uh, I just did a couple of uh, repairs on a couple cars that somebody else did, and they used epoxy, and uh, they ended up. I guess when they drilled the uh, drilled the post, it went sideways and it got all wanged out. So I used that same cutter to to clean up the post. 
to mill the post flat and then drilled it and tapped them and, and then made some repairs. So if you guys aren't screwing them, you really should. It's just um, it's just a overall better way to do it rather than glue them and stuff. Because if you want to take them apart or whatever, or change them up, then you can do it. So I'm just using a 256 tap and some uh, um, candle wax from the little tea light, little bag of tea lights I get. Works fantastic. There you go. Make sure you go back and forth and cut your threads. Don't break the tap off in there because that creates a whole other problem. Well, this will be a quickie, uh, quickie wheel swap. All right, so I'll put our wheels there. I'll put our wheels there, and then we will um, assemble this little turkey. Like that boom. See. That look much better. So, um, 256 button head screws. Can you see that? Can you see the screw? Can you see it? And they're a little Allen uh, Allen wrench. This is my Allen wrench I used on my RC cars back in the day. So, just repurpose. So there you go. Look at that. Look at that wheel swap. See that look? That looks like 158.6 times percent better. Now let's see if it rolls. Quality never, quality never. Look, watch. Look, it's pretty nice. And we'll put it on the really go, really go gig. There you go. Pretty sweet. Wow, six minute uh, wheel swap. That's not bad. There you have it. So you a goodie box? Let me do one goodie box. Hey, a big shout out to. Uh, he wanted me to. He wanted me to give him a. He wanted me to give him one, one big, one back. One big, one back. I've been uh, chatting with him on Instagram. And uh, we've been kicking ideas around and whatnot. We sort of have similar tastes. So I'm going to go grab one of these goodie boxes. Dead boy. Let me get the little one. The little one from Xavier Sepulveda. I had my, um, where should I do it, right here? Okay. Light went out. Okay. Maybe I don't need the light. Do I need the light? Do I? Because it went out. There it goes. I don't know. It seems like I always get in trouble with light. Xavier's? Oh, that. Is that better? No. Man, he used duct tape to put this thing together. He didn't want nobody getting into this. Now, I think what's in here might be... Xavier Sepulveda, buddy. What, yeah, I think... Uh, is, it, is it what I think it is? Is it? <laughs> Oh, I have the best fans in the world. Best fans in the world. Oh. These first hit Walmart. There was billions and billions of everything. Oh, I didn't notice the fenders are black. Deep Puna, like a two-toner. Yeah, there was billions of everything. Not one stinking Volkswagen. Of course, you come home and then they're on um, offer up and eBay for you know nine dollars each. Come on, man, dude, you get the whole set. Beautiful. Oh no, he sent me a oh, buddy. Do not have it, and I will not find it. In fact, I've been working on a couple of these little debt zooms. Look at that, that's pretty sweet, man. With those new uh, rally style wheels with a blue tint. Gee, could it not? Buddy, thank you. Thank you too much. Oh, and a cool combination. Look at that. The art cars. 
two comets. Look at that thing, man. Purple? Freaking purple? I don't know about them funky colored wheels, though. Those are kind of whack. They were doing that on the wagons, those, um, the wagons. I've been stripping them and stripping them. Dumb wheels and dumb paint on those wagon, like demolition derby cars. Like, oh, we got some all taped up little gems here. What do what, what we got here? Oh, Bronco. Ah, look at that Bronco. I got a, I got a bunch of them here. I got to rob the wheels off of. Sweet, sweet. Did you see the one? Um, I don't know where to do with it. I haven't finished it yet. I made a little stock bronco. A little stock bronco keep them. Use those new whatever those disc wheels are. But yeah, man. I always use bits and pieces. Oh, another one. Look at that. Yeah, he did. He did some wheel. He did some wheel robbing. What he did. It's all right. When you get them cheap, don't ever pay full price for them. Yeah, unless you have to. Because those wheels, these wheels are pretty cool. I must admit. I don't know if it, did that have the same wheels on it. I don't know. But yeah, pretty sweet. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the. Um, is that the sh GM? So that's the Astro van. That's pretty gosh. Cool. It's got the yeah. What? There's no engine in it. I've never been inside one of these. GP9. Another one in here. Ooh, this is a. I think it's a bug. No. It's a Fiat. Fiat 500. Yeah, look at that. Hey, that look, that look good with um, the little disco wheels on it, no? I'll have to try it. I'll try anything once. Oh, we got something wrapped up here. It's got to be something pretty choice, I'm sure. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Buddy, the diecast show custom. He's on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. <laughs> He's got a... What is it? It's a... It's a... He's teasing me. What is it? What is it? This is pretty cool, man. I haven't yet to make my own little card yet. Which says Chase Ultimate. Those are pretty cool, dude. How'd you make those cards? Deep Pretty Nash. Those are pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. There's so many ways you can do enjoy this hobby. It's really cool. Create all kinds of crazy stuff. What is it? It's teasing me. Oh, dude, look at that. It's one of his customs. And look, he uses screws. PB Sweet. My day. What's that say? Is that, is that his logo? Yeah. DSC Treasure Hunt. Diecast Show Custom Treasure Hunt. Man, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful bike. Thanks, bud. I'll have to put it back in the... Uh, I'll have to put it back in the... in the little protecto. Pretty sweet, buddy. Alright, I guess that's it for now. I have another goodie box. Maybe I'll do another uh, video here shortly if I have battery life. So, as always, uh, check me out on Instagram, Puchamero B. Uh, check out Puchman Motors. Um, I'll have to show you uh, my, my my latest picture. Where's my telephone? Of oh, my grandson. If you haven't seen it yet. It's beautiful. Let me bring it up here. <laughs> Look at my screen's all full of Zamac particles and wet net. Alright, let me find the picture. Stand by. Stand boy. Gotta go to albums. Gotta go to family. Uh, Instagram. We'll use this one. Look at it. I'll check this out. Look at that little fella. Bo Baby Jack representing Pooch Man Motors. 
All right, that's it. And always remember that when you're in the in the rain and it starts to come down, and you don't have an umbrella, you can.